of the Northern Hawke's Bay, it can be difficult just growing grass. But Rosemarie and Roger Bremner have nurtured a cool, lush environment in which to create a romantic garden. Well, it's very much a garden of beauty, abundance, healing and joy. Uh, people leave here uh, feeling very peaceful, um, relaxed. We had people come here and, and, and are very impressed or can't get over the, the feeling of the place. And I believe that partly Rosemary's um, concept of the garden plus the combination of the organics has, has created this environment. And uh, yeah, people talk, tell us these things, so mm. it must be happening. We get used to it because we live here all the time. Bremdale Garden works for its keep. It's a venue for weddings, photography and Devonshire teas. It's also designed to supply flowers for Rosemary's floristry business. The herbs grown here are used to make homeopathic remedies, which sits well with the Bremner's organic philosophy. The surrounding commercial orchards are now also organic, but having been trained in orthodox horticulture, Roger took some convincing. Roger, was it difficult to adapt to organic methods? Oh yes, yes, it uh, took me two years to wear down. We, uh, we had um, a lot of... Uh, I had a lot of thoughts about a lot of misgivings about it, but uh, as it stands now, I am extremely pleased that I was convinced to go this way. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a time, it is the future, and uh, we are benefiting considerably from it. I planted these trees, uh, the elms, as an archway to the beginning of a new garden. This was my first extension, mm -hmm. and it provided um, dappled shade and I just love the way the sun filters right through. Uh, it's the colour, it's the lime green in the garden and uh, of course that creates a very dry shade and the acanthus is just wonderful for floral art and um, to do well in dry shade. The archways? What, what about, there seems to be a number. The archway provides a doorway and it, as you enter through the doorway, it, it, it's the creation of a mood in the garden and you walk on and you walk through the next archway into the next room. I've tried to create a romantic garden, uh, Bill, and uh, with that has come this Victorian love seat and it's the built for the chaperon in the middle here and um, it's very appropriate uh, along with the old-fashioned pelagonians here and I've also got the old-fashioned Alstomeria, uh, which is the green and red one, and it can go as wild as it likes. I know people say it's a weed, but I just love it for my floral work at, at Christmas time when flowers are quite scarce. And the old-fashioned roses here, the polyanthus type, uh, do well in the clay soil and frame the view for the kiwi fruit, uh, which we overlook here. This looks like a fun little area. Yes, it is, isn't it? I was rather inspired to do this area because having lots of children myself, and uh, I think wonderment is long lost and gone, and I'm a, I was very inspired to bring that back. It's not the kind of place you could dance in, I think, eh? Yes, definitely, and I've had dances here. That's quite right. I guess with your philosophy, the herb garden has innumerable uses. Oh, definitely. The arrows are used for dried flowers. Uh, I can pick and dry that and spray it different colours, which looks very effective with, in dried arrangements. And I also use it in the agriculture uh, for preparations, um, a special uh, homeopathic preparation. Mm. And I use the valerian as well. And that's used really in a, a, a as a warmth essence. Oh. Speaking of warmth, you don't see beds of yellow very often. No, you don't, and I'm not scared to use colour either. In fact, uh, a nice display like that is very bright and cheerful, and I find it, um, I get cheek for it too. I, they call it the Bremdale ragwort, it seeds everywhere. <laughs> well, it's a great little bridge here. But the gazebo over there is really interesting as well. Another one of yeah. Roger's tasks. Yes, it is. Yes, I 
I love the, um, the fact that we've been able to use the catalpa trees uh, because they coppice and it's not a, a sacrilege to cut them down, that they'll regrow. And we've gathered the boulders from the River Road, which has always been a great inspiration to me. So I wanted to bring the boulders here uh, to cr recreate that beauty that is up there. And um, th with the water just lapping into the rocks, it's rather that tranquil feeling that I was trying to bring into the garden uh, with the fish as well and the birds coming into the pond. So what reactions do you get from visitors? Uh, they feel the love that I've put into it because I do believe love, love heals all. Um, I think part of it is um, you've created a paradise here and uh, for everybody to enjoy, that's the real basis of it. Mm. Something that we, uh, we've created over a period of many years and we're re reaping the benefits of it now. Mm.